Four male USC students from China were accosted only a few minutes after they left from the school library. Han Liangwang was one of the victims in the dark hours of that morning. Wang says one of the two robbers jumped off a bag, ran to them, and put a knife under one of his friend's neck, and saying, money or I will kill you. They sought help from the school safety officer, but Wang said they did not receive any further safety precautions. I'm here outside of the USC Man Library. It's already 3 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, there's still many students studying in the library, and they may go back home later. Not only are students staying up in the library at risk of armed robbery, but they are also facing the same dangers when staying out late for social events. I'm just worried about everything and right now. It's really different from the things that happen back home. It's, it's not a usual thing to see. One school officer says USC's violent crime had decreased 20 percent this past year until the recent murder happened. As a result, they're implementing new safety plans. There's going to be some increased transportation services late at night. There's going to be increased patrols by LAPD, so there are plans in the works. With the semester ending shortly, Wang is going to be graduating. A new student will move into the USC area very soon. Wang urges the school to take stronger measures to protect and inform international students on how to stay safe. At present, the reward to find the killer of the two Chinese students has climbed to $200,000. Now that blood has been spilled and tears shed, some students and parents are desperately awaiting the school to take further action to prevent future tragedy. Meng Yijian Sun, J303, Los Angeles.